Hey, what's up YouTubers and welcome to another Pokemon video. I'm Leonix and don't worry the video feed isn't frozen. <laughs> I've just paused this uh, replay just to give you a better uh, commentary through this uh, Pokemon video. This time I'm bringing you a Pokemon double battle, something that I'm relatively new to. So as I was working my way up the ladder, I, um, I just recorded this video and um, yeah, we're just going to go through it because I think it was quite an interesting battle. So that's the team. Kind of starts out um, quite interesting. I bring out my Conkelda and Star Raptor, and they swiftly get destroyed by this uh, Heatran's eruption, which I was totally not prepared for. Now, I'm not that experienced with doubles, so uh, let's just uh, pause it here. Now, what I want to do here is. A, get the Earthquake on Heatran, and B, not to get killed by Eruption. <laughs> so, we're going to see how that turns out, turns out. Sorry. So, the Eruption does roughly half to each of my Pokemon. Air Slash flinches, flinches that Charizard, which means that my Swampert gets to live because it would have died from a Solar Beam from that thing. So that matters. And then the Earthquake um, can take out the Heatran. So that was lucky for me that I got the uh, flinch on that Air Slash. So in comes Venusaur. I have to switch out Swampert for in case of a Grass move. But it decides to Sludge Bomb Charizard. But uh, Solar Beam comes at my uh, Swampert. And I can just kill the Venusaur with a Flamethrower. Unlucky for me, Charizard gets poisoned. So he gets taken out that turn from poison damage. Okay, so I sleep power to the Charizard there. Um, yes, uh, Landorus, Landorus Therian. Um, Earthquakes does quite a bit of damage to my Venusaur, not gonna lie. 59% you can see there, but I survive. Citrus Berry kicks in, and I can just Ice Beam that Landorus because I'm a mixed Swampert. So, Charizard's not a problem for me. Muck has to protect here. Can't quite kill it with a sludge bomb, that Charizard. But the uh, Muck protects from Earthquake. So the sunlight fades there. And uh, unlucky for me on that turn, I damage my Venusaur as well. So we're sitting at three Pokemon apiece here. Muck is um, going to be slower than Venusaur. But I'm running a minus speed nature on Swampert. So I'm not sure whether Muck will outspeed Swampert and take it out with something. And hopefully Charizard stays asleep. So let's see how it turns out. Stays asleep. Good. Can be finished off with a Sludge Bomb. And Swampert is faster and gets the flinch on that Muck. So I'm not entirely sure what this Muck is running still. But hopefully it's not going to be a threat because I can outspeed it. But uh, I'm not going to be able to KO it if it decides to protect this turn. It probably will decide to protect because uh, Aegislash comes in. So I could just Earthquake them both. So perhaps they might both end up um, protecting. But here's an interesting mechanic that I never thought was a thing. So I wide guard expecting maybe a Sludge Wave. And here's the thing, look. I can still... Um, sleep powder even though he didn't King Shield that turn I can still sleep powder past the King Shield so even if he wanted to protect it's fine but he changes stance even when he's asleep if he goes for an attacking move which is pretty strange I thought so let's continue with this turn goes for the poison jab on Venusaur finishes off my Venusaur I get more leftovers recovery Ditto comes in and transforms into what is directly opposite from him in a double battle, which is the Age Slash. Now, I wrote a Choice Scarf on this thing. I think Choice items are a bit more viable in doubles because you have more options on what you want to hit, so you're less likely to get walled by something. But I'm running Scarf on it. So Scarf, Age Slash, I'm not going to be terribly fast, but at least I'm going to be faster than his Age Slash and be able to take him out with one of his moves. So, I can't really Earthquake with Swampert because I'll just take out my Ditto. So let's just see what happens here. Go for an Iron Head, get the crit on the Muck, 
Not sure if that mattered. Go for a waterfall, but it has a citrus berry, but it stays asleep. Iron Head wakes up, get the flinch, and finish the match. Flinching rules. Let me tell you that much. That was a nice victory for me. I think if you read the comments, um, I've not been keeping up with the comments. He thought he had it in the bag at one point. And I said, really? I think I still stand a chance here. And it turns out, thanks to a bit of friendly hacks for me, I managed to pull it off. So, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed anything about this video. Subscribe if you want notifications of when my next video is coming out, the minute it comes out. And thank you for watching. Leonix out.